if you haven't read this book, right, get your copy ASAP. It's a quick read and, you know, it can be finished within a day or two max, right? And that's Between the World and Me by uh, Tanahesi Coates, right? So make sure you grab your copy. Look how small this book is, right? I can hold it. You know, it's very small, okay? In one hand is what it looks like. Between the World and Me is literally a letter, right, by the author Coates um, to his son, in which he reflects on the state of race in America and the ongoing legacy of racism and violence against black people, right? So it's a lot. It's heavy, right? It's heavy, but it's light enough that it's very digestible. Um, the book is deeply personal, right? It's a deeply personal exploration of what it means to be black in America. It offers a chilling critique of the systemic uh, inequalities and injustices that we, you know, we experience, as well as what has shaped the lives of many, many black people over, you know, a span of centuries. Okay, and that's what makes this small book so, so powerful. The author also draws on his own experiences and the experiences of other black men and boys in America to illustrate the challenges and ups, obstacles that you know they face on a daily basis. And that's a testament to what, I mean, this book is, is all about. These are some of the things that makes, you know, Between the World and Me so unique. The use of all those experiences of those black men and boys Right to explore larger social and political issues. Coates's letter is is a statement, but more importantly, it's a testament to the deep love and concern that a parent has for their child. It speaks to the larger question of what it means to be black and what it means to be a black parent in America today. Coates writes about the fear that black men and boys live with. The fear of being targeted by police and other authorities simply because of the color of their skin. Now, not so long ago, <clears throat> not too long ago, pardon me, my wife was just sharing a story with me um, involving the director of uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And how he went to the bank to withdraw some funds and he wanted to make sure he was discreet in how he did it because he was withdrawing a large sum. And how that turned into a situation where he was, you know, um, arrested or handcuffed. I shouldn't say arrested. He was handcuffed while the situation got sorted out because the teller that he approached in, in his attempt to be discreet took it the wrong way and actually assumed the worst and ended up contacting the authorities and they came and obviously, um, you know, took that approach. But the question, I guess, that, you know, the director was asking was, why would I come to a bank to rob a bank and provide this teller with my own ID, my bank card, and like it just makes no sense, right? It just makes no sense. And so those are some of the examples that go on within the black community just because of the color of your skin.